Okay, this morning we have our video camera rolling and uh, we are catching up for the week. We have a package here. It is sealed still, as you can see, and whenever we have some kind of a, an error in shipping, whether it's by our own facility, Doug Bale Enterprises, or one of our drop ship facilities around the country, and we have many, we like to see what happened. Anyways, we sent a validator out. Good packing, by the way, Mr. S. We sent a validator out, and then it either didn't work, it didn't fit. I don't have the notes in front of me, and it's been a couple of weeks. So, anyways, then we had another one sent out the next day, and it was the, uh, the wrong one, or a different one, or something. I don't know. So, anyways... We're going to back up a little here and see what happened. Something or other, there was a connection that didn't fit. Okay, now, this has our current sticker on it, and so does this. Okay, so these both came from us. They both should be... See, they should be 2511s or 25X1s, 110 volt. Now, this one here is odd. Let's take a look at the connection. All right, well, here's the problem. I doubt you can see it. The pins, I'm going to point to it. One, two, three, four. Okay. The fourth pin on the right is bent over. Okay. This normally happens when you plug in some kind of a harness that does not fit squarely. Possibly there's a little something wrong with the harness. Um, Got to remember when we test these, we test them on a in a clean environment on a test jig right behind here. So we're not out where there's a vending machine and there's people hanging over our back trying to get a you know a free candy bar or something. So, anyways, what I'm going to do here, guys, is with my feeble eyes and limited light, is I'm going to. I don't know if I can fix this pin. You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna take this apart and I am gonna turn the camera back off or off and then back on while I do this. So stand. Okay, so one thing at a time here. I want to show you this on camera before I straighten them. The number three pin, one pardon me, four pin inside is bent. Okay? That's this one, and I'm gonna straighten it. Now, see this pin here? That's pushed in. So, unfortunately, when that harness didn't fit, and they should just slip in, guys. Anyways, so that was, this was, something was wrong. They put the wrong harness on this, they pushed it in, they bent, they pushed this one in, they bent a pin. So I'm going to straighten those, and then we'll, uh, we'll see if it works okay. Okay, so the mystery continues. Um, I have the pin straight. As you can see, apologize for the light. Now, this is an MDB harness, this 24 volt, as you can see, six pins. And that is what fits in here. Now, you see how it just starts and then it just slips in gently? All right, so we're back in action here, but this unit that's marked to 2512, which is 24 volts, I'm not quite so sure where this came from, even though it has my sticker on it. It just doesn't look, something doesn't look right. My guys either made a mistake, um, it's not clean, and I'm hoping this didn't come out of my factory in uh, Minnesota. 
It does have new belts on it. But anyways, I'm going to put this back together now, guys, now that we have the pin straight, and we are going to hook it up to our tester on 24 volts, and uh, then we'll start with the second unit. Okay, brief intermission. We did get the uh, pins straightened in the 24 volt system, but I'm still in question as to where this came from. So I'm going to test it here once it powers up. Okay, going to take a dollar. Takes a second to come on. We have flashing lights, as you can see. Good to go. Took a dollar. This is only a one dollar unit. It's not a fives, tens, and twenties. So anyways, this part of our equation is fixed. So now, what we need to do is this unit that is a 110 volt unit. Okay, first thing I notice is the switches are not correct to accept anything. Okay, four way, one and two goes on. High acceptance or high security number three stays off, which it is. Then to take everything else, ones, twos, and fives, although this is only a one dollar unit, we just leave those on and then. You want a long pulse, uh, seven and eight off and off. So those were not exact. Well, they not only were they not exactly right, they wouldn't accept anything. So now I'm looking at these pins. These are okay. So we are going to. And this is a 110 volt unit, different harness. Okay. So we slip that harness in. We just start it. You see that? Give it just a little push. And away she goes. So now I need to plug in my different tester here. All right, we have our 110 tester plugged in, which is from the 70s here. Now, what we're going to do here, plug this guy in, and you can plug a 110 volt system in live on a single price unit, it won't blow anything up. So this reset, chances are, I hope, it's going to work right away. This is set on 75 cents, it'll give back one quarter. Whoops. I have no idea why that won't take a bill. It's almost like something was stuck in there, but I know it wasn't. Let's try it again. That was a little bit mysterious. Something is not right here. Oh, that's weird. Alright, we're going to have to diagnose this a little further. I have no idea why that's not drawing that bill in. Alright, I see the problem. Alright, I'm going to have to take this apart and see uh, what happened, so stand by. Alright, so the plot thickens. These belts, two of them, which I've never seen in my life, are it's almost like somebody put a screwdriver in here. Both these belts are off their tracks and they are ground to a minimum. So I'm going to take one out and show you. And 
And this is again something I've never seen. Now I've seen one belt fail. I don't even know if the camera will pick that up. See that flat spot? It was sitting there wrapped around the shaft like that. And it has created a very thin spot in that belt. So the key is this was on both sides. These are brand new belts. I have no idea how that could have happened. Um, but sometimes we make a video so we can learn something. So anyways, this belt is exactly the same. See that worn spot right there on my finger? You can kind of see if I crimp it, it's very it's very thin there. It was eventually going to wear right through. So, all right, we're going to put it back together and uh, get it working again. Okay, so item number two, we have it back together. We put the two belts in it. You see the lights are flashing. It's a one dollar only unit. Give a quarter change because our tester once again is set on 75 cents. So, anyways, how these two belts, never seen it happen, came off the rollers and ended up wrapped around the axle, I just don't know. If it was on location in a machine, I know how this could happen. They put screwdrivers up in them, um, but I don't know if this was in a machine yet. So, anyways, they, that's what they do. They put screwdrivers up in there and they try and get whatever they can which is usually zero so anyways both units are working but I don't know what to send you because that's 110 that's a 24 volt um, so anyways we'll have to wait in here thanks for watching